Hey guys, um, so this is uh, yet another video, Life of Sapphiron. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be busting out a bunch of these in a row. So um, I'm wearing the same thing and it's pretty much just right after I finish the last one. Um, and I'm just going to schedule them basically once a day for the next week, hopefully. Also, be please be like very... Uh, <laughs> understanding of my situation. I am currently doing all of this through my phone and my laptop and my cell phone hotspot. So uh, it's quite an interesting, yeah, it's quite interesting uploading videos on cell hotspots. It's, it's a lot slower than what I was used to, that's for sure, for a 20 minute video. So um, just be patient. Be understanding. I'm doing the best I can to manifest as much as I can right now, and I'm just trying to keep going through the motions and and uh, and just along for the ride. So, um, so yeah, my mom. Uh, my mom was incredible. Her name was Margot Weiss. Uh, she was an artist and a philosopher. Um, she grew up in California. Uh, my grandpa was a NASA rocket scientist. Um, I never met him. He died uh, pretty much when I was born, uh, shortly after, and <clears throat> and my grandma. I, I I never really experienced too much. Um, like I remember visiting my grandma at probably eight, something around there, and we went to California, and she bought me a bunch of stuff, and it was awesome, and and that was pretty much the you know, only time I remember her or ever saw her. Um, and unfortunately, there was some family drama when she passed away uh, with my mom and, and uh, my mom's sister. And, and it was just ugly. And, and basically, I kind of never really had much family on my mom's side. Um, on my dad's side, we, we had a pretty big family. They had five boys. So um, I, I have a bunch of uncles and lots of cousins and nieces and nephews, or, you know, all of it. It's just all of it. Um, and, and so, yeah, my mom was uh, truly a, a, an enlightened being. Um, she could see through anybody's darkness and bring you right to your light and just see the, your, your beautiful gold and, and beauty um, and speak to it. And, and treat you like that. And, and, and I believe I've, I've inherited that amazing gift as well through this awakening. And, and she, like to give you an example of just like who she was, um, you know, the, like there'd be rooms with like ugly wood paneling on the, on the walls and she would literally take cloth and like staple cloth on it and make it like this beautiful room. Um, she would talk to animals. Like I, all my life she would talk, like I remember her talking to a moth in our kitchen for at least 10 minutes. Just like, hey, come on, come on. <laughs> come on, I'm just trying to catch you and put you outside. You know, um, she always loved it. All, all living things. She always had this beautiful smile and just deep joy and, and appreciation and gratitude for um, the amazing life she was able to live. And, and she was my best friend. Uh, throughout my childhood, I could always talk to her. I could always be open with her. I never had to hide anything. I never had to... Um, be someone else in front of her. Um, anytime I was struggling with like finding who I was or, or the path I wanted to go, um, she was always able to kind of navigate and, and allow me to see, you know, the essence of who I was. And, and she was, you know, the most amazing thing about her is she never looked at me as her son. She just looked at me as this amazing individual that just happened to, uh, <laughs> that she just happened to um, give life to and 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 there wasn't any like strong connection of of being 
Like, of course she was my mom, but like, it was much more than that. It was much deeper than that. It was something, um, like she could actually see all my power before it was there. And, and yeah, um, she was incredibly unique and an amazing artist. Um, all my life, she, she created some of the most beautiful art I have ever seen in my life. I, I would say in her entire lifetime, it, she produced, I, I don't even know the full count. It's, it's probably a hundred, hundred and hundred to 200, somewhere in there. Um, and, and mostly oil paints and, you know, I, I remember seeing her ink drawings. So like she did these beautiful, like they're like six by like eight uh, ink drawings of all kinds of different, like, you know, a water setting and like forest. And uh, she did them at 16. And I, I just remember staring at them and just like, how were you this gifted at 16? Like, that's amazing. Like, you know, these beautiful quilts she made and at 16 and, and just so much, uh, amazing brilliance that, that she had and, and continued to foster and, and evolve and, and create some, some truly profound and meaningful art, uh, for the world. And, and unfortunately she never really got to give it, give it back. Um, and she dedicated her life to humanity. Um, and, and so when I was about, shoot, I think 12, I want to say 12, um, she began this thing called the Salt Monument. And it was this giant plexiglass cube based on ancient geometry, uh, very similar to that. Um, and, and well, it's, it's the exact ancient geometry actually that it's based on. Um, and, and she began creating this thing and it was very interesting watching her like concoct this, you know, like she was very passionate once she found it. <clears throat> like, I, I don't think I know the story. I don't think she ever really told me how everything like like what switch got turned on when she was like this is my life purpose and I need to do this um and I wish I really did because it, it would be interesting to hear her awakening to her life purpose um at fifth or well at 40 yeah 44 46 something like that um <clears throat> so she she created this monument and it was truly incredible. And, um, and you know, there was nights that I could see her, um, sitting at her desk with a magnifying glass and she was literally counting grains of salt. The most she ever counted in, in one sitting, a hundred thousand grains of salt. Now I want you to just think about that. Just, just, pour some salad out on a table and start counting grains of salt. It is, it is, it's meditative. I'll tell you what, I, I don't think I could do it for a hundred thousand. That's for sure. Um, so that's like kind of a, you know, um, my mom was so anti doctors that she had a hairline fracture in her back once, um, when we went sledding and she literally laid in the snow for an hour, um, got up, walked up the hill, got into her car, drove home, and laid in bed for six weeks and went to the doctor and got x-rays to make sure it healed right. Like that's who my mom was. Um, she was just so amazing, so much strength, so much brilliance, so much light, and always this big bright smile and and uh, appreciation for the small things of, of having a roof over her head and, and an amazing sanctuary that she could ground her 
spiritual spiritual practice and and her life's work and it was it was an incredible thing to uh witness throughout my childhood of of such a strong woman and and such a strong support in my life and uh you know i'll, I'll uh, just dive right into the salt monument for the next video so uh, thanks for watching make sure to hit a like if you're enjoying and uh and make sure to subscribe many more videos to follow and uh, this is the life of sapphire my uh, own personal road or journey to uh enlightenment and fulfillment hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you soon thanks